Hey everybody, it's Liz Eaton here, and I am going to talk to you guys about traveling with essential oils. So, as we come into summer, or honestly, doesn't really matter what time of year it is, it seems like we're coming and going here, there, and everywhere all the time, um, especially now that things are opening back up, people are anxious to go and travel places. So I wanted to share with you guys just kind of off the cuff some things that I do personally and things I've heard people do personally, um, what I've heard from people about what they do for traveling with essential oils. So there's, here's what I've learned. Essential oils are freaking amazing, first of all. And I've got a lot of oils and stuff I'm going to show you guys, but the bottles of oil by themselves are amazing, right? Just to use straight out of the bottle, um, either topically in a diffuser or internally, like in your mouth, um, are amazing, right? We can use them straight out of the bottle. But what I've also discovered is there's a lot of little hacks. There's a lot of DIYs. There's a lot of things that we can do to utilize more than just out of the bottle, but using them in lots of different ways and lots of different things. So I wanted to share with you guys what I take on what kind of trips I take, what I take in regards to like the DIY type of stuff um, to make sure I have it with me. Now, just a little background, I have four children. Um, I travel by myself, I travel with just my husband and I travel with my kids. We kind of do the array of everything here in our household so um, and it depends on what you're doing so I want to specify like road trips versus camping trips versus uh, flying on an airplane staying in a hotel maybe going to um, you know an Airbnb or whatever um, and kind of the differences of what I would take with me now I will tell you um, there's definitely standard oils that I literally cannot live without and that I take everywhere no matter what. I literally take them, um, and I'll give you a couple of examples of this, but I take them with me um, like in my beach bag, I take them with me on the airplane, like everywhere I've gone. Okay, the other thing I wanted to tell you, kind of a general, is that um, something that I get a lot, okay, actually I'm going to back up. My background is a lot in traveling. Like I've traveled literally um, all over the world. Um, I've traveled tons in the last 20 years and I have taken my oils to every single country I've gone to. I've taken them through security um, on my, not checked bag, but like on my carry-on so I can have them on the airplane um, and make sure I have them with me. The main thing that I carry with me, and I'll go over basically everything that's in here. Get a paper and pencil. Please, get a paper and pencil, paper and pen, because you're gonna wanna write some things down. This bag right here is amazing. It goes with me literally everywhere I go. Um, and the few times that I've forgotten it, like when I've gone down to the beach or um, if we're playing at the park or whatever, I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I going to survive this? I actually remember going to church, not remembering to bring this. I made my husband go home and get it because um, we just use it. Like we're always dipping into this bag and using it. So you might ask where I got this bag. This bag is um, from my friend, uh, has a small co-op outside of Bali, or it's inside the country of Bali, that she has started with a handful of women. Um, if you want um, information about this, comment below and I will help you get one, help you figure it out. But this bag has seriously saved me because it just goes with me everywhere. It has an awesome handle on it. Um, I love these bags, love them. Okay, and they hold seriously so much stuff. This bag holds a minimum of 16 oils. Um, and plus I always shove other stuff in here, okay? So that was first off. On an airplane through security, you can take essential oils with you. I've never had a problem. The, the one airport that I had like a, is this gonna be a problem, but it wasn't, was the London airport. Um, they made me take all my oils out of my bag and put them into a clear Ziploc bag 
to go through the security and then I just put them back in my bag. So even that wasn't a problem, okay? Um, other things about airplanes, let's just start there. So um, when I'm on an airplane, some of the things that you might be considering or need oils for, um, immune support. So think about um, the dirtiness of the plane, especially post COVID here, pre COVID, whatever we're in COVID. I always, always, always carry hand sanitizer. I love doTERRA's On Guard hand sanitizer. This is really amazing. Um, I have even made my own, I like these everywhere, so I will make this um, mix up where I just put On Guard in here. Um, you can put rubbing alcohol in here too and fill the rest with water, but On Guard is a great one. If you don't like the smell of On Guard, which I know sounds insane to me because it smells delicious, um, my dad doesn't like the smell of On Guard, but tea tree and lemon are a great substitute um, that will also help with the antibacterial that you need. So um, having a hand sanitizer is key, okay? doTERRA also makes now wipes little I should have brought some with me over here I'm not at my house um, on guard sanitizer wipes are amazing um, things for a plane because you can just wipe everything down or a shopping cart or whatever but on an airplane it's really great to have one of those if not you could use this and you know use whatever use a, a Kleenex or a paper towel out of the bathroom and wipe everything down so hand sanitizer or those type of things is amazing. Some of the other things that I like on a plane. I love to have peppermint beadlets. Let me show you what those are. Peppermint beadlets is something I carry in that bag I was telling you about. Peppermint beadlets are really great for motion sickness or if you just feel like you need from fresh breath. They are teeny tiny, okay? They look like this. Um, they have one fourth of a drop of oil in them. They pop really easily in your mouth. They have give you fresh breath. You can swallow them if you need to get it down to your gut. These are awesome. Sometimes I'll pop them in my hand, rub my hands together, and take a deep breath. Sometimes on planes, things don't smell super fresh. Peppermint helps. Um, but it also helps with nausea and anything like that if, if you get that while you're on an airplane, which sometimes I do. Another thing that I like on an airplane is either lavender or serenity. Let me tell you why. There's usually babies on airplanes or little children. And what this is a trick I like to do. I like to take my Serenity or my Lavender, open it up, put a handful in my hand. Now, mind you, Serenity is really great, just in case you don't know, for um, calming down, restfulness, um, just helps calm you down. So I will rub it in my hands and I'll like rub it around like this. I'll rub it through my hair because I want the kid that's around me or if it's my children even if we're flying together um, to be calm, right? I actually have had an experience on an airplane where one row back there was a child that just literally, I think their ears were hurting and they just couldn't settle down and I rubbed Serenity like this, like between my seat right here, like a bunch. I'm not kidding you, within 30 seconds, the kid was asleep or at least quiet. Um, and sometimes I'll have people go, what smells so good around me? And I will then be like, oh, sorry, that was me, Serenity, it's amazing. And they'll be like, what's Serenity? So it's a great um, you know, way to share oils also, but it's just a great way to calm down whatever's going on around you. Okay, that brings me to my next point, which I talked about if somebody's ears are bugging me. Have you ever noticed how the pressure in a plane can really make your ears hurt um, going up or coming down when you're taking off a landing? And chewing gum can help sometimes, um, but it doesn't always help. Taking, like drinking out of a straw can sometimes help. Tea tree is super, super helpful. So I just take the bottle tip it over like this and I will rub it right behind my ear and right here on my ear and I'll do it on both sides and it honestly it just like whew, relieves that pressure um, and kind of like clears your ears it works extremely well so um, it's also great for immune support tea tree is and so keeping um, you know that that immune bubble 
around you um, is good. So not only is On Guard great for immune support, but Tea Tree is amazing for immune support as well. So those two together are awesome. Okay. Um, the other thing that I was going to tell you, sometimes people can have anxiety on an airplane. So something that I like to carry with me are these little, um, these little inhalers. So it looks kind of like a chapstick. Um, they pop open like this and there's little holes in the top. Can you see that? And there's a little wick in there. Let me see if I can open this one and I can show you. You can get these on Amazon. I don't think I'm going to be able to open this up. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I'm getting it. I should have had one open so I could show you, but here. So there's this little wick. Okay. It's just a little cotton wick. And what you do is you put essential oils dropped right onto this. You put it into there and then you put that cap back on and then you can just spray them in. So it's kind of like a little personal inhaler. But putting adaptive essential oil on this, wild orange in here, um, serenity would be a great one. Balance and serenity together are awesome. Um, these are all ones that I carry in this bag here, but um, pre-making a few of these, if you have children that you know are struggling with staying calm on an airplane, or, or even traveling, this is a great, any kind of travel, this is a great thing to have them carry with them because they can just kind of like that. They can even put it in their mouth if they want and take an inhale from it, but it just, it literally just goes into their um, nervous system and really can help calm down whatever's going on in there. So these are awesome. I love these. I actually um, carry these with me quite often in situations like I'm talking about. So, okay. Um, so that's kind of airplane. Now, oh, I know, jet lag. Jet lag is another one that a lot of times we deal with um, when we're traveling, especially if we're going, you know, super far in an airplane. So peppermint essential oil is really great for jet lag. Lavender is really great for jet lag. And, um, and honestly, frankincense under your tongue can be very, very helpful to regulate your body, okay? So... Um, frankincense is, is seriously amazing, but it does really help on your body, can help keep your, your body from um, getting too much inflammation, can help reduce that and the stress that your body goes under while it's traveling. So, okay, so that's kind of airplane, right? Traveling. Now let's talk about if you're going to, uh, you're traveling an airplane and you get to a hotel, like what should you have, make sure you have with you. Okay, so something that I really, really like to travel with, and you could carry this and do this in your um, checked luggage, is a diffuser. So this little diffuser, I'm gonna talk a lot about today just because I love it. Um, it's called the Pilot from doTERRA. And basically it works two different ways. Um, it can work, it, it has a battery so it can stay charged. So you could use it like without a plug so let's say you're camping or something you could charge it before you leave and, and use it while you're camping which I'll talk about camping in a few but basically this is great it, it comes with a USB um, cord that then you can plug into the wall if you're in a hotel but if you're in a car it also comes with a um, you know one of these 9 uh, 12 volt things for your car but basically this thing pumps out oils. It's great for um, diffusing. So at night you could put serenity in there or lavender and breathe is a great combo for sleeping. I don't know about you guys, but once you get to a hotel, for me, it takes me a day or so to really get used to sleeping in a different bed and your time clock might be off and all of those things. So having the comfort of a diffuser to really help calm you down, relax you and um, be able to kind of give you that at home feeling is really helpful. So really great in the diffuser is um, a calming oil. It, uh, another one is On Guard. So during the day, I would probably run On Guard in that diffuser to help clean the air in your hotel room. Um, you could even turn it on while you leave for the day and when you come back, your the air is gonna be much cleaner 
for immune uh, boosting and immune support. So pretty awesome. Um, I wanted to tell you a story about when I was traveling to London and I left my peppermint bottle in one hotel and then I'm going to a few different hotels and actually I was gonna be gone for like two weeks and I was like, no, I lost my peppermint oil. And luckily I had my beadlets with me because what we kept doing is just popping the peadlets and using those um, instead of having the peppermint oil. But man, it made me realize how much I use my oils when I didn't have that. Peppermint oil for when you're traveling is a seriously essential um, because a lot of times our bodies are out of whack and we need to be able to make sure I di I, our digestive system is really working well. So um, I was really sad I didn't have my 15 mil peppermint oil, but at least I had my beadlets. So there you go. Okay, so that's kind of like airplanes, hotels. Let's talk about road trips. So personally, we are going on a handful of road trips this summer with my kids. And every time we go on a road trip, we get car sickness going on in our, in our car. And like, it's so difficult because, um, you know, it kind of like puts a damper on the trip when you're like, okay, we're going to go on this long road trip. And then not even an hour in your kids going, oh, my stomach, I feel like I'm going to throw up and that's just no fun. So here's a couple of tricks that we've used and a couple of the oils that we've used. Um, doTERRA has a roller called Digest Zen. It comes in a 15 mil also, but Digest Zen is really great for anything related to the stomach. The problem with it is some people don't care for the smell of it because it has anise in it, it has caraway in it, ginger, it's a little bit strong. Fennel, I believe, is in it. Um, it's a little strong, not gonna lie, but it really does help. So doTERRA actually came out with a kid's version and it's really awesome called Tamer. This one has worked magic on my kids when it comes to upset stomachs while traveling in the car. So Tamer is a little bit, a uh, little easier on the nose when it comes to the smell of it but basically it has spearmint in it, peppermint in it, um, ginger, black pepper, and parsley. And it, it really does smell very like clean. Um, and it really, I'm trying to open it here for you, but the lid is on extremely tight for some reason, there we go. But like, it, it actually smells like you're chewing gum, which I don't know if you've ever heard, but chewing gum can actually help your stomach feel better. It's because of the mint that's in that gum. But if you roll this on your stomach, um, it can really help with the, the nausea feelings, okay? The other thing that can really help is swallowing one of those little tiny beadlets. Um, those little peppermint beadlets can be really helpful for, um, for nausea. So there you go. So car sickness, sometimes I'll even rub the tamer in my hands and then rub it up by the air conditioner so that it kind of blows into the car and can help um, can help in that way as well. So that can be really helpful um, for car sickness. Now, another, um, another thing that we like to use in the car is that pedal diffuser. The nice thing about this is it fits right into a cup holder, easy to fill. Um, some of the things that I like to put in there are wild orange and peppermint, fantastic for a car, helps keep the car, um, the energy good in the car, helps, um, wild orange is amazing for happiness, I call it my happy oil, but like emotional support, it's really great and people love how it smells, so it's a great one to have in the car. Another one is adaptive, because that's kind of like the calming, um, you know, stress reliever blend that really can help calm the mood of the car is a really great one as well. So um, those are some combos I like to use in there. Oh, another one that's really great in the car is called Air X. Air X is great for cleaning the air and it smells super like clean car smell. Um, it's really great in there. And so I would recommend Air X as well. That's a new oil. Uh, newer, newerish oil from doTERRA blend and I really like it for the car. It's one I keep 
in my car at all times. So great for cleaning. Okay, so that's kind of like the car trips, road trips. But let's say you're going camping on a road trip. What would you need there? So I like to have, there's a bee that just flew in here watching it. Um, I like to have oils on hand that are almost kind of like first aid oils. Sorry, B just totally flew in here and now I'm watching it because I am allergic to bees. <laughs> okay, it flew out. Awesome. Okay. So camping on road trips, I like to have first aid oils with me. So when I mean first aid oils, I mean things that help with scrapes, cuts, bug bites, um, anything like that because we have kids and that happens. Um, I also always carry with me, so um, when, if you are gonna go hiking, anything like that, let me show you, this is my this is the bag that I actually carry with me like basically all the time. And I wanted to show you what I have in here in regards to um, always have hand sanitizer. That's great. If you've got to go to the bathroom on a road trip, make sure you have hand sanitizer with you. Um, I, I carry this little tiny keychain. I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but super helpful, super awesome. It holds actually eight oils, but I think I've given a couple of these away. Funny enough, I need to refill this. I carry oils in here that I use all the time because sometimes I just wanna carry this with me um, if I'm just like running to the store or whatever. And funny enough, I use this all the time um, because I can't seem to go without oils. But um, I love to have something like this with me um, and it kinda has my first aid type of oil. So what would first aid oils be? Frankincense tea tree, lavender, write these down. I would highly recommend writing these down. There's an oil called heliochrism. Heliochrism like is magic. It helps stop blood. Um, it like clots blood really quickly. And then the other one is yarrow palm. Yarrow palm is a super thick um, oil and it comes in this dropper bottle actually, and I don't know if you can see it, but this one also helps with um, clotting blood. And so it's very good for um, putting on scrapes, cuts, all of those type of things. So one thing I like to do is make an owie ouch spray. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put about 20 drops. This is a two ounce spray bottle. I got it off Amazon. Um, I'll put about 20 drops of each of these tea tree, lavender, and frankincense, and then I'll fill the rest with water. So let's say you get a bunch of bug bites or you got a scrape. You can spray this on that area um, to help relieve the pain. Um, it can also help and it will help heal a lot faster. So this is a great one for kids that don't want you to touch it. They just want you to spray something on it. It's a really great one. Okay. The other thing I always carry in my bag, um, I got this little cool case at Target and what it had in it was band-aids and it had like Neosporin and I was like eh, Neosporin out, correct X in and then I got my band-aids and it comes in this cool little case. I cannot tell you how many times this has come in handy. I used it this week when I was at um, a gymnastics place with my kids even. Um, one of them got cut. So Correct X is definitely one that I carry with me literally everywhere I go. I always have Correct X with me. Um, Correct X is kind of like Neosporin. Um, it's a Vaseline based, I believe Vaseline based um, little tube that has frankincense, heliochrism, cedar wood, tea tree, and lavender in it. So it's amazing for um, cuts, you know, cuts in, um, scrapes, even a bug bite that's bugging you. Um, it's actually great for scarring, anything like that. So I keep that in my little um, bag all the time. Um, but definitely one of those first aid things that I would have camping um, or really anywhere, but especially camping, it's really great to have something like that, okay? Um, the other thing camping 
And again, um, just in general, when you've got mosquitoes or other bugs or insects around, what oils would you use? So peppermint oil is fantastic for um, kind of getting little bugs away, especially ants around a perimeter. It's really great, um, anything like that. So the other thing though is doTERRA has something called Terra Shield. Terra Shield comes two different ways. It comes in a 15 mil bottle or it comes in a pre-made sprayer bottle make. I love this. I carry it with me whenever we go camping. But what I also do is I carry Terra Shield, citrus, citronella, and peppermint oil. Make sure I have those to remake this because one of these little bottles isn't going to last for six people for six days, let's say. So I'm going to have to refill it. Um, and kind of DIY it. So having one is really nice. Um, I also have another one that I just made in a little spray bottle um, with Terra Shield and peppermint. Citrus Citronella, which is a newer oil from doTERRA, is fantastic for insects and really, really helps. Um, this was probably four or five years ago. We went on a big family trip to um, Mexico and where we were going was gonna have a lot of mosquitoes. So before I left, I gave every family member one of these and filled it up for them and honestly all of us used it and not really anybody got bit maybe one or two little bites got through at a time at, you know during the course of the whole thing um so really though the point of me telling you that is it really works it really does work and it's really great um to have with you so Make sure you take that when you're definitely when you're going camping. Um, so basically, in conclusion, um, oils are amazing. And I would definitely recommend. Oh, I know something else. I got to tell you this, guys. I got to tell you two other things real quick. I always carry these little suckers with me everywhere I go. Um, these are great for immune support but they're also great for, um, you know, if your throat is really sore, if you're feeling under the weather, this is a great little immune booster. So I would definitely, definitely recommend having some of those with you. Um, my kids eat them literally like candy, um, which I'm like, well, a few a day is fine, even if you're not feeling sick, because they're great for immune support. Um, so I would recommend those. Those are the On Guard Throat Drops. They are amazing. The other thing that I like to have with me, and I keep this in my little to-go travel bag um, that I carry everywhere, is Deep Blue Rub. So Deep Blue Rub usually comes in a tube, but this is just a little container, like a little travel container that I got. And I squeeze a little bit in here because you really only need a tiny amount. But if you're hiking, if your back hurts, if you're standing in long lines at Disneyland or whatever, Having a little bit of deep blue rub with you, it really does help relieve the aches and pains. So um, I would highly recommend having some deep blue rub with you at all times. So sorry, forgot about those things. Like there's so much I want to tell you, but I'm also trying to keep it nice and condensed for you. Um, so in conclusion, make sure you have oils with you. I literally don't know what I would do without my oils while traveling. Um, it just like would make life a lot like those little tiny things and even big things but little tiny things where you're like oh my gosh I wish I had an oil for that um, there's so many cases like that when it comes to traveling especially so get a case if you like this one I would highly recommend it because it holds so much stuff in it um, that you just, you know, you're gonna need it. You're going to need your oils with you when you're traveling, so make sure you have them. And if you have any additional questions, if there's something that you've missed, um, let me know and I'd be happy to answer them. All right, everybody, my name's Liz. It's been fun talking to you and we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great, great day and good luck on your next travel adventure.